This autocyclic coil winding machine has been designed and constructed by Geld van Sloten from Drachstig Compagni. Geld designed the machine around 1985 and 86 and is made entirely from Meccano parts. Orthocyclic coil winding is a method for obtaining coils whose turns are stacked in the most compact fashion possible. Such coils have certain particularly good properties including good heat conduction, even distribution of electric field strengths and the highest possible space factor. Positioning of several machine components and their interaction related to autocyclic winding is essential. These components are responsible for putting the copper wire on its correct place. The most important component is the so-called wire guide, as shown by the white arrow. This wire guide is connected to a spindle which is running synchronously with the coil. When the copper wire is running to the end of the coil, the rotational movement of the spindle will be reversed. This will lead into a movement of the wire guide into opposite direction. So how does the machine operate? There are several axles you can uh, turn manually. First one is the axle connected to the coil itself. The second one is the spindle. They can be operated manually but they can also operate it uh, by the motor. First you have to take care that the wire guide is more or less perpendicular to the coil. When you have finished this operation, you can manually rotate the copper coil to tension the wire a bit. After this operation, you can turn on the adhesive magnet, see the white arrow, so that the motor is now connected to the coil. Be aware that the direction of the wire guide is in the correct direction. After this you can slowly start the machine running and if you think this is ok you can just put on the start knob. So how does this reverse mechanism work? First, the flange of the wire guide pushes against a bolt. This bolt is connected to a long rod to which a crank is connected. This crank pushes against the tip of a make contact. And once the contact has been made, two electric coils are powered up and switch the reverse mechanism. You can see that the wire guide is not running synchronously anymore with the coil in this part of the vid. So I stopped the vid, repositioned the wire guide until it's ok and then continued the winding process. Finally I want to show you an interesting feature to show the versatility of the machine. The speed of the wire guide alongside the spindle is defined by the thickness of the wire. A thicker copper wire means a higher speed. Thus by rotating the hand crank you can speed up or slow down the speed of the spindle. Connected to this device is a wheel flange with nonius so that you can adjust the speed with a given thickness of the copper wire. I hope you've enjoyed this video, in case you want to make your own coil winding machine just have a look on my website for all details.